It's my buddy's dog and he fucking beats the shit out of him. I'll, I'll give you a hundred bucks if you hand me the leash. Whew, I caught a lot of hell for that video. <laughs> maybe you guys agree with me, maybe you don't. But in my opinion, you should always offer to buy a dog off a homeless person. The day I picked up that dog, I picked up a second one earlier in the morning. Came hobbling down the street, filled with puncture wounds, and his back leg was so infected he couldn't walk on it. On my way to the vet, I could see out of the corner of my eye this little puppy loving on this guy, and it was very clear that he was homeless. I always have supplies in my car, and I pulled over and got out of the car, and that's when we had our conversation. It wasn't his dog, and the owner of the dog was a buddy of his, and he beat the shit out of her. I instantly offered to take the dog. I said, I can take her right now. I could take her right now. I thought the dog was a boy. In the video, I call it a boy, but it's a, she's a girl. Just tell your friend she ran away. No, so we go back and forth. How can I give him what he wants so he wins? but I also win, because I'm not leaving until I have that dog. I'm not, there's no way I'm just gonna be like, okay, well, hope your buddy doesn't beat her anymore. Have a good day. No. <laughs> and he didn't say this, he mumbled it, and he threw his hands in the air, and he does one of these, and he's like, I'm, fu I fucking don't have, I'm, I'm fucking broke. And I said, I'll give you a hundred bucks if you hand me that leash right now. In 100% of the situations in which I have bought dogs, the person I have purchased that dog from, has been on drugs. Maybe this will help better illustrate my point. I got caught drinking and driving. I got my license suspended. It got worse. I had to go to work. I have to pay for these bills. So I've got to drive myself to work. And then one morning I got pulled over driving on a suspended license, which landed me back in jail, landed my car impounded. And then I had my license revoked for two years. With my original citation of getting caught drinking and driving, I forfeited my right to drive a car. I broke a very well-known law. And I wasn't just risking myself. I was putting a lot of other people in danger. The point is I'm not a bad person. I wasn't out out there maliciously trying to hurt people or trying to put people in harm's way. These homeless folks that I personally run into and that I have purchased dogs off of, they aren't bad people. They made a lot of bad choices. But when you continue to make bad choices for your own instant gratification, you forfeit the right to take care of another life that cannot make their own choices. I met this lovely Canadian named Zoe through a mutual colleague, Sailor Jerry. Zoe does a lot of rescue work, but she's also an up and coming dog trainer. Zoe reached out to me asking about Tyler. One of the last questions that she asked me, she's like, look, I know you don't usually adopt out of state, so Canada's probably not even an option, but I just am so drawn to Tyler and I just had to ask. I knew in that moment, I have her dog. I have her dog. I could not get Tyler to Canada fast enough. If you need help training your dog, the link to the course is in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video.